Hey, how's it going guys? Today we are pushing the 6300 trophies on my mini account uh, with this Lava Loon deck, which I think is the best for mid ladder. Uh, my main is sitting at 7437, hopefully to get to 8k this season, my second rank finish. And uh, if you enjoy this video, please let me know, hit the like and the comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Comments really help promote the video. Alright, so we've got our first matchup here. Um, usually I'll go with the tombstone first play, but in mid ladder I do like to sit here and do nothing uh, and wait for the opponent to make the first play So just fireballing over there um, Looking like log bait. We don't like log bait, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go with the lava here just to activate king tower um, Pretty simple play there. I don't know why he's got two spirits. Okay. This isn't lock bait um, Don't know if the lava was the best play there, but I wanted to activate my king tower So that was the easiest way to do it um, here I'm just gonna go with the tombstone. He does have inferno tower. So that means I'm just gonna leave my um, Lava hound to die. He does have a super fast cycle, which is interesting because he's running a really weird deck um, but giant skeleton uh, Okay, giant skeleton inferno double spirit barrel. I think it's gonna be very nice to have the um, The king tower activated here. I'm just gonna go ahead and zap Okay, doesn't really matter. I missed the zap. It's kind of late. Okay, but anyways, I'm just gonna go with the drags here. Um, try and figure out what the rest of his cards are. Um, I don't want to barbs on. Okay, yeah, I do. I was gonna say I don't want to barbs on top in case he has fireball, but uh, we'll just go in here. Uh, he's gonna log them back. Everything gets hit by the bomb. Good play by him. E wizard and inferno tower are gonna be pretty hard to break through, but. I think as soon as we get our zap back in hand, that's what we're gonna do. So, just gonna drop a tombstone in the middle. I will sack the next goblin barrel, and because uh, we get the king tower activated, so we do negate a little bit of damage. Um, okay, so I think this is a good time to go in with Lob Hound. We have to keep in mind that he has the E Wizard and the Inferno Tower, and he's I think he's down one right now with that giant skeleton. So, if he's sitting around that much elixir. I'm just gonna drop a balloon here. Just probably gonna zap the Inferno Tower. Um, I'm gonna go Skelly Dregs over here just to do a little bit more damage to this Inferno Tower. Uh, he's got two buildings, so that's kind of a pain in the ass. But uh, let's hit him with another Lava Hound coming in here, hopefully. Actually, I'll just go with the Fireball there. Let's go with the Fireball, boom, and then we'll go with the balloon just by itself because I don't think he has a great response to this. Neither of his spirits are going to kill our lava pups, so yeah. Okay, this is looking good for us. He's got an inferno tower coming down there. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, I missed the zap. It doesn't really matter because the inferno was already dead, but uh, yeah, it's looking good for us. His tower now within... Okay, let's try and take out this barrel, please. And... Okay, we don't take out the barrel. It is what it is, though. We'll go into a two-tower situation. So unfortunate i didn't really want to fireball there because i might have to fireball the tower yeah okay we'll just go ahead and fireball the tower that should be enough to kill it boom um he's gonna go with an interesting e wizard so i'm gonna drop a balloon and i'm gonna drop barbs over here as well in case he inferno towers and uh we are gonna ignore that barrel gonna go with the mega minion here just gonna zap his uh inferno in just a second and those barbs are looking nasty on the king tower there. I don't know how he's going to be able to defend those. Two buildings is kind of tough, but we're going to get the three crown here. So pretty good. Um, good first match. And let's get on to the next one. Also, if you guys have any questions about uh, plays I made in the matchup, just let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, I'm trying to do my best to explain my thought process, but sometimes I might get a little carried away in the game. Uh, let's just go with the balloon here. I don't want a tombstone until like it's a bit late so that he doesn't have enough time to respond to the tombstone. But here I'll just drop a nice fireball and we should get two balloon hits over there. So it's looking like it's going to be Pekka Bridge Spam. So I'm going to go with a deep tombstone here because he doesn't have a magic archer to kill it anymore. Um, well, and, you know, you know, it isn't Pekka Bridge Spam. He's got the balloon, but we were prepared. So... Uh, three for five trade over there looking pretty nice. Um, I'm thinking we might not have to do anything else to this P.E.K.K.A. Which is, we just got two massive trades there, boys. A plus three and a, or sorry, a plus four and a plus two. So yeah, we're up a ton of elixir here. Um, or actually, I think we're equal, but it made up for going with that solo balloon there. So I'm just going to hit him with the zap. Hit him with the balloon as well, because uh, he is going to get the charge now. Pre- 
um, buff. I think he might have gotten the charge anyways, but uh, we only took one prod there, so, you know, I prefer to not take any prods, if you know what I mean, but it is what it is. Okay, so, come with another P.E.K.K.A. Uh, I think I'm just going to go... Okay, yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Barbs on the Witch. It's going to take out the Witch. The P.E.K.K.A. is going to come back. we go Mega Minion, and now the P.E.K.K.A. is still distracted over there. And I believe that was a good situation for us because 5 on 5, 3 on 7, 3 on 4. Yeah, I think we won that trade for sure. And that Lumberjack is a bit of a problem, but I'm just going to go Fireball him since his Magic Archer is out of cycle. So, um, it is what it is. We're going to go with Skelly Dregs now so that we can respond to his Balloon and we don't have to worry about not having an Air Card in cycle, which is kind of why I went with the um, Fireball instead of the whatchamacallit there, the Scully Dregs, so here I'm going to go Lava Hound, hopefully tanking for the Witch, um, because uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to go P.E.K.K.A. or Prince, yep, so Mega Minion coming in, hopefully the Witch targets the Lava Hound first, but I, she may not, oh she does, okay, very nice, we're going to go with the Fireball here, it's going to hit both of them, the Drags, and just like that, he's got a pretty intimidating push. I'm just going to leave that balloon on the right, the left side. There's nothing I can do about that. So, it is what... Oh, I think that's my cat outside. Anyways, I don't know if you can hear that, but just like that, we're going to wrap it up, making sure he doesn't have anything in the pocket. Uh, he does go with the Prince. We have a tombstone down for it, so that's going to be GG's here. Pretty, pretty good matchup again. He had the Witch and the Magic Archer, so it wasn't the toughest matchup in the world, but we did manage to get a cool dub there. All right, up to 6,200 now. I think we're going to need about three or possibly four more games to get this, uh, this 6,300 goal that we had. I'd prefer if it was only three, but um, we'll see. So Nick here, he's uh, just going to sit here. I'm just going to sit here. I'm probably just going to go with the deep tombstone for that Mega Knight. I don't really have anything uh, to respond to it yet. So let's... Uh, Let's just go with the drags here. I want to see he's going to put like a wizard or something behind that. I'm just going to go with the inferno drag. So I'm just going to go ahead and fireball that. He's going to jump again. It is what it is. We're going to take a little bit of damage. But overall, you know, I think it, we didn't take too much damage there. Um, inferno is out of cycle. So here I'm going to go with the... Okay, we're going to just go with the barbs first. And then I'll go with my lava hound in just a second here. Um... So yeah, he went Mega Knight, Bomber, Zap, Infernal Hog. So he's back to his Mega Knight for these barbs, I believe, uh, if he chooses to do so. So I would, yep, I will just go with that. Okay, we'll just go with the Mega Minion here, because if I go with the Hound, we're going to be busy wrapping up the Mega Knight, and then the Inferno is just going to kill my Lava Hound, and that would just be a waste of a 7 Elixir. So uh, good Tombstone there. We should only take uh, a no Mega Knight hits. Wow, that's really good. So perfect position there for the Mega Knight. Uh, keep that in mind if you ever guys, if you ever want to capture the Mega Knight. So here we're gonna go, just barbs in the middle here. Um, hopefully some of them stay in the right lane, but I don't think they are going to. So I'm just gonna go with the Mega Minion to follow up. Uh, hopefully dealing heavy damage to his Inferno. I'm expecting him to have a Inferno or a, a, a counter to my pups like uh, the, the arrows or something. But let's see, we've got a, uh, got a zap coming in here. Don't think we needed to zap those bats. So let's see. Um, he's probably got arrows. Or, okay, no arrows. So that means we're going to get a crap ton of damage. I'm going to head in with the balloon here. He doesn't have a response, which is really nice. It's so gonna go with the tombstone because I'd prefer to go barbs on his um, barbs on his mega knight and tombstone on his prince. That's just uh, I think the safest way to counter that. But we are just gonna have to go barbs here to wrap up his hog rider, and we take no hits, not even a bomber hit. Really good for us. I'm gonna go with the lava here because the mega minions backing it up. Um, Let's go with the drags as well, wrap up those bats, get some offensive pressure going. I'll ignore that Mega Knight, and I will go ahead and zap this Inferno Dragon, and I will go ahead and balloon as well, because I'm not too worried about him uh, going in the pocket here, since he is uh, down a ton of elixir, and there's a whole ass lava balloon push on his tower, so it's going to be a good game. Let's hop into another one, hopefully only needing two more games for 6-3.
Okay, so we've got Gonzalo over here. Again, we're going to wait for him to make the first move, and he does. He goes with the hog over there, so I'm just going to respond with the tombstone. Should fully wrap him up. Uh, he goes with the ice spirit. We still get full counter. So a three for five, that's pretty nice there. Um, uh, thinking 2.6, but uh, it could still be... Yeah, it could still be something else. Maybe Hog Executioner. That'd be that'd be pretty interesting there to face Hog Exe. And so it is Hog Exe. I am going to go with the drags and the balloon over here. Um, just because I believe... Oh, yeah, I forgot he had Rocket. Um, well, we won on a fluke there. He has NATO, so we didn't win yet. But uh, that was a little annoying. I forgot he had the Rocket in this matchup. Um, oof, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking he had there, but... Uh, I probably normally would have just gone with the drags or the loon. Um, yeah, so don't do what I did. Um, only go with the drags or the loon there just to force out something. I'm going to go barbs here just because the tombstone won't cut it with those goblins hanging out. So we do give up a hog hit, but uh, still up a nice amount of damage. And for this matchup, it's all about the chip damage and the defense. So make sure your defense is on point and very as good as you can get it. So he's going to go with the Valk here. I don't think we need to play anything else on this Valkyrie. I'm just going to go with the Hound here. Got to be very careful though to wrap up this next Hog Rider. You don't want to take any damage in this matchup. You'll win off of Lava Chip. Uh, so you want to make sure defense comes first. And uh, there is the Executioner. So I'm just going to follow up with the Mega Minion. Um, and then we're going to go Balloon opposite lane as well as the Drags maybe. Uh, I might go with the yeah so we're gonna go with the drags um, maybe that was a bad decision I wasn't expecting him to rock it I thought he was just gonna fire our NATO to King Tower but as you can see killed the executioner and we got 500 damage so maybe I should have gone with the drag same lane but uh, haven't played this matchup in a while so I'm a little bit rusty um, we're definitely gonna go with the barbs there just to uh, make sure we wrap up this hog rider and I believe we took a hit there, so that's unfortunate. But let's go Mega Minion. Let's just go with the Balloon Force out of Rocket so he can't completely back up this Executioner. There we go. Now the Executioner is alone. And we are going to go with the Fireball here. And we will also go with the Tombstone and wrap up the Hog Rider. And the Executioner is still on the board, so that's a little annoying. But he will be gone in just a second here. And we do and take no XE hits. Let's go. Let's go. No XE hits. Okay, so got the barbs for his next uh, hog. Just like that. We're going to go with the barbarians here. I'm going to go uh, skelly drags as well. We're going to go mega minion as well. And uh, we should have a nice little counter push on the left side there. He did just use his Nido, so I am going to go with uh, this and this. I think that kills his executioner. He's going to rock it. Um, look at the left tower though, we're going to deal a ton of damage on the left tower. Now we're going same lane, which is utterly beautiful. See, I told you just the simplest little counter push will do work. So we've got the Barbarians coming in. We're just going to go Tombstone, it's going to pull back the Hog and distract the Ice Spirit. Um, I'm going to just, uh, that was a good time for a lob in the middle. We're up a ton of damage. He's got to deal with the Barbs. You've got the Mega Minion and the Drags coming in hot. I'm just going to go in with the Drags here. Going to go in with the Mega Minion here. Um, he's going to NATO. I don't know about that NATO, but we're just going to hop in with the Balloon. So he's forced to rock it onto the right lane. We're going to take out that Executioner. I am just going to plant another Tombstone. And we should... Oh, we missed the second Rocket of the game. Wow. Okay, well... We're going to take that dub pretty nice there. I think I played the matchup pretty well besides a few mistakes. So, um, sadly, I think we're going to need two more games here for the, for the, yeah, for, yeah, unless we get a 37, which would be kind of weird. But, yeah, we got unlucky with the 29 and the 26 there. So, let's get into another one. Um, the Conqueror. Oh, wow. Okay, so, mm, thinking here. We are going to just wait for him to make the first move again. I think that's the best play. So um, your zap and your tombstone aren't out of cycle and stuff like that. If I see a mini tank, um, anything with a lot of health in the back, I'll usually just go with the mega minion or the drags um, in the back just to meet them at the bridge. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we are going to be facing, I think his splash yard here. Um, he's got the barrel, the baby dragon, the 
a knight. Nobody runs out with knight anymore, but this guy must be just uh, just old fashioned here. Go with the zap. We'll go with the drags, and uh, looking to wrap up these skeletons as fast as we can. We should be taking a bit of damage here, but only losing half our tower is really good because now I can go in with the lava hound. I'm gonna go in same lane so he can't uh, punish and take my tower. Um, and he spent a ton of elixir on offense there. Um, usually against Splash Yard, if he ever uses poison like that on offense, I will be very aggressive because I know he doesn't have poison in cycles. So I'm going to go with the, just the Mega Minion here. I'm going to go with the Mega Minion. I'm going to go with the Balloon. The Bomb Tower is out. This is a good fireball value if we can get it. Hopefully taking out this Mega Minion. Um, almost took out the Mega Minion. I think, actually, does Apple do it? Yes, Apple do it, ladies and gentlemen. That should be Tower, or um, definitely more damage than he got on us. So, um, boom, yeah, taking him down real low there to 350, and I think that was definitely a good situation because now uh, we caught him out of cycle, and also he doesn't have Poison or Baby Dragon on offense. So, here I'm just going to go with the Tombstone in the back in case he wants the Night Graveyard. Um, not too worried. I might just go lava here just to try and take his tower down, but we're definitely going to play more defense if we need to. So we're going to go drags here. We're going to go, I think we saved this tower even if he poisons. So we're going to go mega minion. Yeah, he, we, he did almost no damage there. And we're going to fireball over on this, uh, Ooh, good NATO from him. Actually, bad NATO from him. I thought he killed our mega minion and kept his baby D alive, but he did no such thing. So... Um, here we're just going to plop down another tombstone, um, yeah, and then we're just going to barbs here. He's going with a really weird graveyards. There's no counter push at all, so we should be able to defend pretty easily, even with the graveyard RNG. We'll just go drags in the back, Mega Minion up at the bridge, and that should be good game with only 13 seconds left. Yep, pretty good for us there, and... Uh, good matchup versus Blash ER. Now we only need one more game for 6300. Alright boys, so um, we're going to go in here with... Okay, we're just. I guess we're just going to sit here and wait for him to make the first move again. Uh, we haven't had it where I'd have to... I've had to wait for double yet, so that's kind of nice. But I usually don't want to make the first play. Yeah, but uh, when in doubt, just Mega Minion in the back is fine. I'm only doing that because I don't want to have you guys just wait here for the content. So I'm going to go Mega Minion. Uh, he does have Skeleton Dragon, I can't, or Skeleton King. I can't believe we're already facing champions. Uh, you got max champions, but you're at 6,300. It's kind of whack. Anyways, we're going to wrap it up, and we might be facing Graveyard again, which is uh, interesting. So Fireball Nice Wiz comes down uh, just to get rid of him pretty fine here even if he goes in with the graveyard i'm not too worried i've got a zap barbs here he might go with the aggressive graveyard and he does so we're gonna go barbs here we're also going to go with this zap just to make sure the baby dragon dies and he does have fireball that's really interesting he has fireball not poison okay let's see what we can do here yes he fireball okay that's gonna be real interesting here for us um i think that makes a matchup way tougher with skeleton king and fireball but we'll see just gonna go with the hound um he can't really punish us i don't think so i think that's a good hound uh, we're just gonna go drags because his fireball is out and we are down i believe four right now yeah so we're gonna go in with a just a balloon actually just a yeah we're just gonna go in with the fireball and then we'll go in with the mega minion actually because he's got a baby dragon and also, if we balloon, he could just NATO, so I don't want him to do that. Um, good, good, good bar barrel placement by him, but he should be having to... Okay, here's another king. I kind of underestimated how fast this cycle was, so we'll just go with the tombstone over here. Um, with the lava hound to block this uh, baby dragon, keep our tombstone alive interesting he didn't go in with the graveyard there i think with the fireball it would have been real tough to defend that graveyard but let's go with the balloon over here hopefully killing this uh or getting his fireball out okay we do we're gonna go fireball and he his uh tombstone is too deep to pull our balloon so that's very nice we are going to get natoed i believe but it should be fine because we're still dealing a ton of damage um, 
And yeah, we're taking the Skeleton King down low. Um, that's looking good for us here. Let's just go with another Lava Hound. I think we keep his stuff at, at bay with, at the bridge there. Actually, just gonna go Barbs here. And I'm gonna go Drags, because if he fireballs the Barbs, then the Drags are gonna deal a ton of damage. I think those are really good Barbs by us, because that way we force out the fireball and he can't deal with it well so i'm just gonna fireball the baby d trying to take it out so it can't splash us deal too much damage yeah it's almost dead i think it will die to the next skelly drags though so just go tombstone in the middle here uh, we're gonna go barbs again uh skelly drags off to the side here so we can't fireball everything the baby dragon is still alive because of our level 13 zap so it's kind of annoying but Let's see what we can do. This is going to be tough to break through here, but hopefully uh, we can just go ahead and take out his Skelly King. We're going to go, just go ahead and fireball here, trying to take out the Tombstone, force out a NATO backwards. We're going to go in with the Zap here. Yes, we forced out a NATO. It wasn't close enough for the tower. We did manage to wrap that up. Wow, that was an intense game for 6,300, but we did get there. GG's ladies and gentlemen, um, two tough graveyard matchups, one with fireball, so definitely annoying there, but we've managed to get the dub. I hope this video was good for you. Hit the like, subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.